post. And Manchester United did score the first goal in a long, long time after this. They scored the last goal. And Scott McTominay arriving on the scene with that uh, knack he has. This is where Manchester United were causing lots of problems for Liverpool in that sort of area there. Garnaccio had come from the other side of the field, found that space. Kelleher, I think, makes a decent enough save. And then it's determination and positioning of McTominay. Well, having given Manchester United the lead, this was a passive play where they looked as though they would be a better team on the day. McTominay had that gone in. It was a very presentable chance. Of, uh, crushed Liverpool's resolve. What a chance as well. Should really score. And Luis Diaz epitomising the recovery spirit that you expect from a Liverpool team under Jurgen Klopp. Not catching out Onana though. He tried to do with power at the near post. And he ran half the length of the field and then dragged it back on his right foot. As you said, he goes in at the near post. But nice height, I would say, for Onana. Well, Liverpool were building over this period and we're coming to what five minutes before half time. Endo had a goal disallowed. It was a, a tight call against Mo Salah. Yeah, Endo won the ball back, played it wide, and this is where he was offside. The top half of his body, not his feet. But this is a loud goal. But the disappointment didn't last very long. Carol Quanza taking the fight to Manchester United, layoff by Nunez and McAllister a deflection. They were level before the break. Well, they did have a couple of deflections that went past the goalkeeper. Quants are doing really well. There's a set-up play, Nunez. And it's off Maynou, who I thought was outstanding while he was on the field, Maynou. But it comes off his studs and beyond the goalkeeper. And in the blink of an eye with some good pressing here and some Manchester United over-elaboration. Suddenly, Liverpool were in front at half-time. Yes, does really well to get back on side and have the shot. It's a decent save for Anana. But the first touch from Salah sets it up on his right foot and he just gets it in. Takes a big swipe at the ball. And it goes past the goalkeeper off the post. And at this point, just before half time, it looked as though Liverpool were going to take control. And here's the save. It was a good one from Anana. Uh, as we said a couple of times, fine margins. Darwin Nunes almost squeezing this in. He was looking to cut it back. He had to reach for the ball. That was the only angle that, that could come off his foot, really. He slips as he's about to kick it. Nana gets down quickly. He was trying to read the cross. Liverpool poised with the passing. And to some extent with the penetration, but not the, the final moment. You know, it's going for power. Now they did well to keep that out. Yeah, this is when they were in complete control. He goes beyond Varane, strikes it nicely, but again, Anana up to the to the shot. Then the substitute started to play a part, and uh, Ten Hag has got a lot of faith in Anthony, the Brazilian winger, and he sent him on, and he delivered. It's a good finish, you have to say. And he affected the game when he came on. He picks up the ball, plays it wide. Garnacho slightly overruns it as he comes in field. It falls nicely. He's still got so much work to do. It's a good quick turn on his weaker right foot. Just swivels on it. And goes between the two defenders and beyond Kelleher. Straight away. It's uh, Anana stranded away from base, able to make a block. Elliot came in. And uh, with a miss hit. Frame of the goal. Yes, couldn't find a, much of a, an effort to follow up. He's trying to cross the ball, Elliot, but he slices it. Almost the perfect chip over the goalkeeper. Here we are. Marcus Rashford, almost the last kick of regulation time to win it for Manchester United. Placed it wide. Eriksson pulls out a brilliant pass. The first touch from Rashford is. Absolutely perfect for him just to pass it into the corner and he doesn't quite get it right. It is so Marcus Rashford will pay a heavy price for that into extra time. Harvey Elliott, another of the substitutes making an impact. Another deflection. Liverpool lead again. 
He just finds that bit of space on the edge of the box. Could Maguire have gone out and pressed him? He doesn't do so. He backs off. And then it's Ericsson that tries to get out there and it comes off Ericsson's boot. In the, between the legs of Maguire. And nothing really Anana can do about it. Very, very difficult. Liverpool so close to sealing it and then this happens. McTominay with a lovely ball into the feet of Rashford. Virtually telling him where to place the shot. And the shot was placed to perfection. And Rashford this time didn't let Liverpool off the hook. I'm not sure when he is. We're trying to go with that pass. McTominay just rolls it. Such composure for McTominay and a very good part finish here from Rashford. Just passes it into the corner. Kelleher doesn't even dive. And they were back in the game. Ericsson, as you say, making a big difference with the quality of his balls forward. Rashford revived by that to some extent in towards McTominay a move that was worthy of winning the game and you thought well maybe the chance of winning it for Red Devils had gone great energy from McTominay Jeez. makes a run from very very deep and gets too much on it and then this happened Ahmad winning the ball Garnacho up and running and then Ahmad, amazing. He's put Manchester United into the quarterfinals. He's sent them to Wembley. He's got himself sent off. He's inexperienced, really, for a second yellow for taking off the shirt. Well, the pass from Garnacho, I didn't think was quite good enough. And it looked as though Bradley was going to block him, but he slipped slightly. But a very good finish into the far corner. What a moment for the youngster, except for taking his shirt off.